Well, welcome to another interview from the Len Rock blog. My name is David Benton, here with uh, Linden Lane Advisors. We're at the first annual Independent Lodging Congress at the Rittenhouse Hotel in Philadelphia. Today we're joined by Mark Woodworth, President of PKF Hospitality Research. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. Good, Good morning. to have you with us. Good Great morning. Great to be here. Mr. Woodworth has over 30 years of hospitality industry experience in both a consulting and hands-on operational capacity. He has managed and conducted consulting assignments involving both the public and private sectors throughout the United States. He has worked for the industry's leading lenders, developers, chains, and management companies, and has been quoted on hospitality issues in such noted publications as the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, and the Washington Post. Mark, again, very welcome, and uh, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, if I may. Sure, please, please do. In the last year or so, have you seen conditions change in the hospitality or tourism sectors, and have they been for better or for worse? Uh, the answer is, uh, uh, to the first part of the question, uh, they have changed and fortunately they keep getting better. Uh, the industry has been uh, on a roll and, and the remarks I'm getting ready to make a little later this morning, I, uh, one of the things I'll open with is this notion of happy thoughts, where there's, there's a lot of things to be happy about in our industry today. Uh, if you look at the key metrics that are really the, 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 the best indicators of the health of, of, the, of the business. Uh, uh, demand growing faster than supply. Demand's been growing consistently for three and a half years now. Room rates are going up and, and critically, uh, and we think it's going to happen literally the fourth quarter of where we are right now, uh, industry-wide occupancies are going to uh, reach their long-term average level. And we know, as you know from, from studying history, that when occupancies get at and then beyond long run average levels, that's when pricing power really right. moves into the hands of the manager. So we're expecting continued very favorable rate growth uh, and as a consequence, uh, higher levels of profitability. Good. Well, that's a, that's a great message. I'm happy to hear that. Um, as you know, we're here today discussing independent lodging. And in coming years, do you think independent or boutique hotels will serve a different or larger role in our hospitality industry? I, I think they'll, 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 they'll certainly serve a larger role uh, in the sense that they, we, uh, at least on our analysis, uh, what we've seen the last three to five years in our forecasting moving forward is that the supply of independent hotels, uh, and, and specifically uh, we're focused, when I say that we're focused on uh, luxury upper upscale and upscale, the higher end of the marketplace, uh, or perhaps said differently, hotels that are purposefully independent, mm -hmm. uh, the, the supply of those hotels is going to be growing faster uh, than the industry as a whole. And I think that's just simply a reflection of uh, more and more consumers uh, have, have found out what the independent hotel experience can be, mm -hmm. uh, and certainly with the internet and different channels now that it makes it easier for consumers to research their options uh, that are available to them that uh, in things like TripAdvisor and so forth, that uh, uh, the demand for these facilities has been growing very, very strong, and I think that that's going to continue as far out as we can see. Good. Thank you. Um, and our last question for today, what do you think is the biggest challenge affecting our market? Boy, uh, the answer has to be the uh, economic and political uncertainty uh, that, that all of us, no matter what business you're in, and, and uh, and so forth that all of us are dealing with today, trying to understand everything from what is going to happen on the health care front to uh, uh, our leadership in Washington uh, once again has kicked the can down the road. We're going to go through it again another 45 to, to 90 days. And uh, so all that uncertainty uh, certainly is not healthy for our industry. Having said that, it is, I, I think, continues to be remarkable that the U.S. lodging industry continues to grow at a faster rate than the overall economy. Mm -hmm. So again, I think that that's, that's a good sign for where we are and, and, and importantly where we're headed. Good. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you very much for joining us. Once again, for the Lenrock blog, I'm David Benton. Thanks for watching.